Amazon Data Analysis Case Study in Python. First, we import the necessary libraries of Python, Matplotlib, and Seaborn. We are doing this inside the Jupyter Notebook environment and have selected these imports as the basis of our data analysis. Next, we'll get the dataset, which I've linked below in the description for you to download. I'll select this data frame and look at the head, or the first five rows. Looking at the shape, you can see that there's actually only seven columns and 550 rows. It's not huge, but there are some interesting fields to explore. We're going to start here by taking a quick EDA, exploratory data analysis, of this data frame. We'll look at the info, seeing that there's actually no null values. Already fantastic. Next, we'll go ahead and look at the describe method. This will tell us a bit of information about the data set. We can see, for example, the mean price is 13. And we can also see that the biggest year is 2019, whereas the smallest or minimum is 2009. The max price is 105. See, this gives us an amazing way to quickly summarize some of the key summary statistics in our data. Next, I'm going to go ahead and just put some questions which I myself would want answering. Following this, I'll see if there's any duplicated rows. There are none. Now, that doesn't mean none of the values are duplicated. For example, if we take a look here at the name, there are 199 names which are the same. If we look at the name again, using pandas and run a value counts, we can see, now, let's ensure to add a dot sum to this, we'll be able to see that there's 550 names. How many of those are unique? Well, we can simply run the dot unique method. Following this, let's explore the data a bit deeper. I'd like to know author against user rating. We're just going to do a simple group by here, looking at the author and the user rating. Now we'll do a few group buys and then at the end we'll get towards some visualizations to present this. Taking a look at the mean or the average and the largest, the top five. We can see that here are all the authors with the highest user ratings on average. Now, we're going to go ahead and look at which genre has the highest average price with df.groupby again, the genre and then the price. Now, before we get to that, I wanted to show you something very interesting. I've recently started a Fiverr page, meaning I am giving my data analysis expertise to you. Not only will I do projects for you, but there's a number of offerings I have, such as private consultations and creating videos like this, all for yourself. Take a look. Messy data leading to uninformed decisions. In today's fast-paced market, falling behind is not an option. Introducing. Hi, I'm Toby, and I've been working as a data analyst for the last number of years now. Armed with a first-class honors degree in psychology, I delve into the core of data, understanding people. Throughout my journey at the forefront of data analytics, I've partnered with organizations to unravel the stories within their data. From delving into SQL databases to conducting insightful market research surveys. Armed with a toolkit enriched with Python, machine learning, SQL, Excel, and Power BI, I'm ready to bring the art of data analysis to you. Thank you for checking that out. Now the link for that will be in the description. As you can see, fiction books on average actually cost more than non-fiction books. Take a look at the year, they all come up 50 times, which is interesting. So let's get into some visualizations. I would like to run a correlation to see the relationship between different factors. Here, I'll put a knot so that it annotates it. And I'll change the coloring to call warm. Let's take a look at the relationship between the number of reviews and the user rating. We can say it's a very negligible and weak, slightly negative correlation. So there really is no relationship there. What I've done now is gone ahead and skipped through a little bit. I've put a bunch of visualizations just so we could walk through them. This is a simple histogram with the bins of 20, KDE being that line on there, true, and the color sky blue. We can look at the distributions of ratings, seeing there are more at the higher end. Next is a box plot 
of genre and user rating. I wanted this to be a bit pastel and I labelled it on the axis and the title. We can see that slightly fiction books are actually rated higher on average. Now a pair plot is a great way to compare multiple variables in the data set. Here we use specifically user rating, reviews, price and year. We can look throughout this how they relate to itself and everything else. This is a brilliant way to very quickly see each of those comparisons. Now moving on I want to look at the final visualization which is a violin plot. Here we can look at the user ratings by the year. We can see that in the later years like 2019 more of them are concentrated up in the higher end there whereas let's take a look at 2012 well there's some that are actually quite low. Now thanks very much for watching and all the best.